So we're looking here at an inverse normal distribution where we don't know the mean or the standard deviation. And you've probably read the question already. If you haven't, you want to pause it and read the question. So I've got two normal distributions here, and I'm just going to put down here the mean is M, I don't know it, and the mean here is M, I don't know it. But I'm going to put this information on here. So on the first one, less than 30, and I've got that shaded area as 0 0.0745. And over here, I've got 70, and it's less than 70. Now, the reason I put 70 onto the right of the M is because I already know that this is more than a half. So this is 0 0.78165. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to imagine these are standardized. So when I standardize it, I have a mean of 0, a mean of 0. Once it's standardized, this is going to give me a Z value, Z2. And this is going to give me a Z value, Z1. So two different Z values. How am I going to get them? I'm going to go to my calculator. And on my calculator, I'm going to go into second vars, which is distribution. I'm going to choose inverse normal, number three. And I'm going to enter 0.07. Four seven four three one. That's the first Z value, and I'm going to have these set for zero and one. That's the standardized values. And this gives me a Z value, which is negative point one four. Sorry, four four four. I'm going to do the same to get this Z value, and I'm going to make up two simultaneous equations after that. So back into the calculator, repeat that again, second distribution, number three, but this time 0 0.78165. Now let's do that, go down to the bottom, and this value will give me 0.777 reoccurring. So... Now, with these, I'm going to set up two simultaneous equations. And basically, I get that from this formula. And the formula is x take away mu, and that's the thing I'm trying to find out, divided by the standard deviation, it gives me a z value. So my first x value is 30. And I'm going to take away the mu, which I don't know, which in this case actually is m. So let's just call that m. That's the mean that I don't know, divided by the standard deviation that I don't know, which again, in this case, let's call that p, q rather. And this gives me the z value, which is 1.444 negative. Do that again, but this time with the 70. That video is going on a bit too long. But what I need to do is rearrange both of these, gives me a simultaneous equation, and then I put that into my calculator in the simultaneous equation solver. And that will give me m is equal to 56, and q, which is the standard deviation, is equal to 18. But this is what I need to solve using the simultaneous equation solver.